I'm in my kitchen and we are gonna start slowly decluttering this kitchen. There is a lot of stuff in here that is additional, extra stuff that we just don't use and it's taking over my life. My mom lived here first before I moved in here and she left a lot of her kitchen stuff, her silverware, plates, bowls, pans, all that kind of stuff. Um, and so I brought my stuff in and then John brought his stuff in. So we have a lot of duplicate things. Our silverware drawer is outrageous and that's what we're going to work on today. So I'm going to bring you guys over to the silverware drawer. It is so heavy that you have to like lift it up and pull it out to get silverware. So that's what we're going to start today. What I'm first going to do is separate everything. Like I know I have a big set of silverware and then we have like hodgepodge silverware that's doesn't have a match or a one-off or you know how things happen like that so we're gonna declutter that out and then I'm only gonna put in what we need we don't need literally 20 spoons we don't need 20 big forks 20 small forks so that's what we're gonna work on today okay this is what we're working with we have knives, big forks, small forks, big spoons, little spoons. And we have like steak knives, regular cutting knives, um, serving spoons, chopsticks. And then these are like takeaway or the kids forks and knives when they come here. There's like plastic. I I just can't stop. No, no. Cause I love you, baby. I can't let you go, baby. I gotta tell you that I I've been looking for love so true. When I was down and down along came you. Though you might be a liar. Okay, so my mom, these are were hers carrier things, these gray things in this wood block. Um, I probably wouldn't have picked this if I was to be honest with you, but it's here, it's what we have, and so we're gonna use what we have. Um, it's only me and John and Reagan, my brother. There's only three people that live here, okay, at all times. And we sometimes have people over and they eat and they need silverware. But we don't need all this silverware for three people who live here. And Reagan's not even here all the time either. So um, we're just going to dense down and go through. So I'm going to, this is the stuff I, let's get away pile. Maybe you guys a little closer. So. Cause I love you. Yes, I do. Okay, so my audio stopped on this part, so I'm doing a voiceover, but here is the drawer after we decluttered it. These are the serving utensils that I want to keep in the drawer, chopsticks, and then we pare down to one of the gray organizers, and we put 10 of each fork, spoon, knife in each little section. Um, we did five big spoons, five small spoons, five big forks, small forks. Um, so there are those. I think that would be super beneficial 
for that. Then we moved our knife box. That's right there. It was over there. But now I put all the knives in here. That way it's one less thing off the counter. And I think I love it right there. And it's not as heavy. And after this video, we actually had some handles installed. So that is such a blessing. I'm going to put this little container in our butlery closet. And that way, if we have more people over, um, we will just have this ready to go, pull it out. And that way it's not going to be gone, but it'll be here. All this stuff is for donations and that will be in my butlery closet as well. We're going to be doing a 15 minute declutter session real quick. We're in my kitchen and I'm really wanting to get this cabinet done. It's where all our coffee and tea and mugs are. And it's just a lot. There's a lot of coffee cups in there and I have a special attachment to coffee cups. So I always feel like I need to grab them. It's my weakness and it's just too much. Like it can't fit anything else in there. And the coffee and tea uh, station, the middle drawer needs to be figured out in a better way. I need to buy a container for it. It's just not functional. So we're gonna do this real quick. Timer going on my watch. Oh, you can't see it. And we'll see how much we can get done. If we don't get anything, if we don't get everything done, that's okay. We'll just count it a win of what we did get done. Here we go. All right. Just wanna address the elephant in the video. Yes, you are seeing that magnet on the side of the fridge. I got it in Rome when I went to Rome. It is the sculpture of David. So yes, we let's just address it and go on. I can't edit it out, so let's just go on. Okay, so let's go through these coffee cups real quick. Um, this is such a cute coffee cup. It says emotional roller coaster. It's very cute, but oh, here's the problem. I have problems with oh, my mugs. Let me get that one away. Okay. This is John's one and only coffee mug. All the others are mine, and then there's three others in here that are my brother's. So this is obviously staying because it's John's. These two cappuccino mugs, we John likes to use them for soup. So we'll keep those. Maybe they can go in the soup cabinet. And I think I'm gonna give this one away. That's the tea sis, that'll go away. It's super cute, but... I'm gonna keep my St. Paul's Cathedral one. These are Reagan's. Oh, he has four. Here's the thing. My brother is starting to collect these Starbucks cups and I don't think I've ever seen him drink a cup of coffee or tea at home. Maybe he's, proving, he's gonna prove me wrong. I hope so. I'm gonna give this one away. Actually, it's so cute. I might give this one as a gift. And then this one's my Winston Churchill mug. We'll keep her. Gotta keep my terracotta plant lady. And I got this one, proud plant parent. And then at the bottom's like a succulent. And then my R cup. So I think I want to keep four cups for myself, John's, and then Reagan's four. So let's put them back. So we have about five minutes and six seconds, six, five minutes and six seconds left on our timer. That's how much we have left, but it's a little bit better. We have, I got rid of about four mugs and I have more mugs in my china cabinet, but we're just gonna use these for right now. So we have all the cups, like I said earlier, we have our Nespresso pods here. We have sugar, uh, the sugar caddy there, and then this milk, the creamer thing. I like to use that when I'm frothing it. And then I have my container of tea bags and my detox tea. And then I have my to-go cups up there. There's only two of them. And then my loose leaf tea stuff. 
and the extra tea that I have up there. So it works for now. I would love to get a tea organizer specifically, um, but this was just free. <laughs> this is free for right now and I just wanted to get it done because it's too much. My obsession with coffee mugs and now my brother's obsession with collecting Starbucks coffee cups, coffee cups, it's going to, it gets cluttered and it's only so big, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> I think it's gonna be good. We got rid of four coffee cups. I'm gonna give those as gifts or donate them. I have an extra container here. It doesn't have the lid, so I might just donate that. So this has ground coffee in it. We used to have a French press before we had an espresso and it broke and then we got an espresso, so we don't really need this anymore. And it was just up there, so. Done, that took 10 minutes. 10 minutes and I'm so happy about it. I hope you guys are enjoying these little quick declutter sections of my kitchen because it's gonna be happening a lot more frequently. I really wanna get this kitchen decluttered piece by piece, so. All right, so the last little section we're gonna do for our 15 minute declutter is back in the kitchen. We're gonna be tackling one of the drawers and it is a lot of utensils and cookware and things like that. Some of this stuff is repeat, some of this stuff we don't ever use. So we're gonna come closer, take a look, and I'll show you guys what we're gonna get into. 15 minutes only, but let me show you first. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. So we have this drawer and this little pitcher that have other utensils. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is just combine them all. And the reason why we have this is because this doesn't fit all of them. So we're gonna try to fix that problem today get rid of some of the stuff, clean it out, and go from there. So, here we go. Okay, here we go. OMG, it really is so much better. Like I know I'm a little biased, but it's great, I think. Okay, so we put our like spatulas and big wooden spoons here. And these are like the more heavy duty things. We got our ladle, masher, slotted spoons, big serving spoons, our smaller um, utensils. We got our tongs and brushes and um, juicer and pizza cutter. And then we have the ones that we use more often, which is a peeler and can opener. So that looks so great. I think it'll work efficiently way, efficiency wise. I think it'll work, this will work. I took away the pitcher that was over here because it all fit in here. So that's amazing. One less thing on my countertop. Love that. Um, this stuff is, this is probably my mother. I think that's my mother, so she's gonna keep that. But all this stuff is gonna be donated. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six items. And then this is like family heritage, like heirloom things. So those are gonna go in my, so these are gonna go in my china cabinet. This is going to my mother. This is gonna be cleaned and put away, so. So I'm super pleased with that. That was, it took 10 minutes, maybe. And I had to go get the vacuum cleaner and wipe it all down. And like, it took no time whatsoever. And it's so nice to have all the stuff decluttered. All of our chip bags that we have, I'm gonna put them somewhere in our pantry by our chips and that way they'll live in there and not in our drawers. But that was super quick. I really hope you guys enjoy these 15 minute max decluttering sessions. Um, I know for me, like 
I tend to think that it's going to take longer than it actually is. But I've noticed that if I just put 15 minutes on my watch or somewhere timer, it usually takes less time. It usually takes like seven to 10 minutes max. If you're just doing these little drawers at a time, little spaces, and it just feels better to get rid of stuff and to reorganize. And I hope this inspires you guys to just tackle the little projects one at a time as you come across them. And thank you guys so much for stopping by.